Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of the Agile Module Library Tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the VCO module, so let's read the patch and we'll talk about it. Uh, the VCO module has a few added features compared to the VCO tile. When in O or octave mode, the octave control shifts the VCO up or down by octaves, that's this control right here. In C or course mode, it becomes a course tuning knob that covers the full range of pitch. So we have O and C right here. So in C, it switches to C there, and we can change the tuning. Or an octave, we can shift it up and down octaves. The F knob tunes the oscillator up or down by a semitone. So this is one semitone down, one semitone up. Uh, this toggle shifts the octave in course mode, like I was showing you before. Octave mode is the mode uh, we're used to when the VCO expects an octave signal for a pitch. In course mode, it uses a modulation signal for a pitch. This can be useful for creating drum sounds. So we put it into course mode, and then you see also down here at the bottom, this O turns into an M. And that means that the O, uh, this, this, this input, normally expects an octave signal, which is negative 5 to 5, uh, and now it's expecting a signal 0 to 1, where 0 is the lowest pitch and 1 is the highest pitch. The FM knob changes the type of frequency modulation from linear to exponential and then phase modulation. So you can see here, it says lin right there for linear, exponential, and phase modulation. The uh, linear exponential PM mod uh, knob itself adjusts the amount of the incoming modulation to the A input. So we have this, this would allow more uh, FM into the VCO. Um, so this is, this selects the type, and then this is the amount that's coming in. The sync input is a hard sync that resets the, the wave no matter where it currently is. This allows you to get a consistent sound with every new note, or you can, uh, you can also attach a second oscillator to create different timbres. So, you know, if you have a, a clock coming in that is clocking your envelope, you can reset the, the, the oscillator every single time the envelope retriggers for your VCA, and that will give you a, a, the, a very consistent sound with every single note that's being played. Um, but you can also take another VCO, a copy of this VCO, and sync it uh, through this. Uh, you can have the output go to the sync input like that. Okay. Uh, in course mode, you'll see the uh, O change to an M, indicating that it expects a modulation signal. Yeah, you can see that there, O and M. Okay. So overall, this is supposed to be a, a, a fully featured, yet also uh, easy to navigate oscillator module and it's just one oscillator voice but there's a lot of potential that you can you can um, you can use with this so uh, in in a lot of uh, ways you you, have, you say you have the again the shape modulation here you can of course modulate that at the modulation input um, but you can also double these we have two I did a copy and paste there um, and you can for example go from the audio input there and then you can start frequency modulating and you can see how that changes the wave shape there, right? It depends on what octave you're in versus this octave, right? And we'll talk about FM uh, in probably a, its own special uh, its own special tutorial because it's kind of a whole whole topic by itself. We have this, and you also have the again the sync input, and this usually helps if your your sync oscillator is at a lower rate. And you can do different uh, wave shapes, you know, especially uh, if, if you have this at like a different note, you can kind of um, induce some different sounds into this. We'll, we'll, we'll listen to it uh, more in, a, in the uh, coming tutorial. So that's sort of a walkthrough of the oscillator at, at, on its own. There are other, you know, more uh, bigger oscillators that have more controls over them. Uh, the complex oscillator, for example, is basically kind of a package of two of them like this with these controls in between. Uh, but for now, this is like a really good place to start where you're you're going beyond just the, the oscillator, the, the VCO tile, and getting to something that's a little more fully featured and a little more uh, flexible uh, as, a, as a VCO module. Okay, I'll see you in the next tutorial.